Fisheries Research and Development, or R&D, plays a critical role in developing, managing, conserving, and protecting the country's aquatic resources. In recognition of this, the National Fisheries Research and Development Institute, or NFRDI, was established. NFRDI's mission is to generate scientific knowledge and technologies that are responsive to the needs of the fishery sector. Last October 11 and 12, 2023, NFRDI conducted the 10th Fisheries Scientific Conference, or SciCon, at the Marikina Convention Center in Marikina City. The theme of the 10th SciCon is Achieving Food Security and Sustainable Fisheries Through Research for Development, or R4D. SciCon actually is a bi biennial conference that gathers the national and interna international researchers in the field of fisheries. So it serves as venue for a presentation of recent and relevant researches in fisheries to address food security and uh, sustainability of the sector. The 10th SICON kicked off with welcome remarks from NFRDI Executive Director Lilian Garcia, Assistant Director for Administrative Services Zaldi Perez, representing National Director Attorney Demostenes Escoto of the DA Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources highlighted the importance of research in his message. DA Undersecretary for Fisheries Drusilla Esther Bayate delivered the message of Senior Undersecretary Domingo Panganiban, expressing support for both the event and the NFRDI's efforts in delivering fisheries R4D. Serving as the keynote speaker was Senator Cynthia A. Villa, Chair of the Committee on Agriculture and Fisheries. In a video message, she commended NFRDI's efforts in achieving food security and promoting sustainability in fisheries through R4D. Also highlighted during the opening was the launching of NFRDI's knowledge products, this included five training modules on malipoto breeding and seed production, freshwater ornamental fish breeding and production, blue swimming crab hatchery production, sandfish processing into bird chamer, sandfish seed production. Also launched were Fishes of Lake Taal, a field identification guide. Fisheries Vulnerability Assessment Tool, Instruction Manual, and 16 posters on protected and regulated aquatic wildlife in the Philippines. Definitely our knowledge products are for free and it can be viewed or accessed through our uh, website, the www.nfrdi.ba.gov.ph. As part of the 10th SICON, NFRDI showcased technologies generated from its Research for Development initiatives. This time, naisip namin na kailangan talaga mabigyan ng ma-feature ng mga, uh, at ma-highlight kung ano yung mga technologies and information na na-develop na ng NFRDI. No? So, kung mapapansin nyo dito sa, sa central display, ano, uh, dito naka-highlight yung uh, for example, itong maliputo, ano? uh, meron pa tayong spiny lobster, tawilis, blue swimming crab, at uh, sunfish. Ito po ay binuo ng mga siyentista ng NFRDI para po sa kapakanan nating lahat. No? Mga teknolohiya makakatulong po sa ating livelihood. This year, we present the SICON in such a way that we have plenary sessions, we have parallel sessions, we have also demonstrations of other uh, technologies that we have developed. The beauty of this scientific conference is that there is an interface between science and management such that in every uh, presentation on science there is a corresponding presentations 
from the side of management, specifically the BPAR. So in that way, we will be able to bridge the gap between science and governance, which overall will affect the uh, right formulation of policies, regulations, and other interventions toward achieving food security and fishery sustainability. We uh, verify the actual uh, production to validate the reported the 7% uh, national production of sea salt. We also identify the issues and concerns uh, concerning the decline of the local production of the sea salt in the Philippines. At the same time, we also did some benchmarking. From here, uh, we uh, provided uh, the basic information necessary to come up with the management options. And this is the, the part of the BPAR. Our study also served as the basis for the uh, crafting up of the Senate Bill on how to revitalize the salt industry in the Philippines. So the highlight of the presentation was actually more on the interventions or the initiatives of BIFAR. So the initiatives are focused on the provision of production inputs and conduct of extension services such as capability building trainings on food safety and salt production. We uh, expected that there will be an increase in local salt production and not only increase in local salt production but improve compliance on food safety. Uh, Inassess namin yung buong Pilipinas per province, no, per region, kung gaano sila ka-vulnerable sa impacts ng climate change. So merong low, medium, high vulnerabilities. Ito ay pinondohan ng PRDP. Basically, ginagamit na ito ng planning officer sa buong Pilipinas ng Department of Agriculture Regional Offices para mag-guide sila kung ano yung mga dapat na i-prioritize ng project as a climate change adaptation uh, project ng, ng Pilipinas sa Department of Agriculture para nga may prepare at uh, mabigyan ng uh, karampatang tulong yung mga communities na to, to cope up with the effects of climate change. So ito pong study namin is the result of the uh, study conducted by Dr. Muji of NFRDI wherein they assess the vulnerability of uh, major species in the country. So we found out that the eel fishery in Aparica again is highly vulnerable. Eel is one of the most uh, exportable species in uh, the Philippines. It contributes a lot to the economy of the country. And yet, uh, yung eel natin ay, uh, is being uh, threatened because one, is, one, one cause is the changing climatic condition. The other is habitat loss and overfishing. So with this study, we can recommend uh, strategies so that the impact of climate change on the eel fishery will be mitigated. One strategy is the uh, establishment of uh, fish sanctuary on the niche level. Uh, the National Stock Assessment Program collects relevant fisheries information from our uh, established fish landing centers or uh, monitoring sites for use in the fisheries management uh, formulation of the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources. Central, central to this fisheries management is what we call it harvest strategy na kung saan this is a formal, uh, formal process wherein uh, yung ating mga stakeholders, uh, they, they agree to a rules before they play the game. Importante po yung science doon because uh, this will tell you uh, what is the status of stocks and what level should be uh, taken from that stock and provide you with the level of fishing opportunity. And as we, uh, as we implement the regulations, we uh, monitor yung ating progress or status ng stocks. Ang presentation ko is about the uh, risk assessment of uh, introduced species in the five major lakes in the Philippines. These invasive species are introduced species that are not native in these lakes. So they have been introduced uh, intentionally or unintentionally. 
So the common pathways of this uh, introduced species are ac through aquaculture or through uh, or aquarium fish uh, hobby. Ang magiging impact nito is yung mga native species natin sa ating inland bodies of water ay uh, yung kanilang population ay mababawasan. So ito yung nagko-cause din ng mga uh, endangered species like in Lake Taal, we have the tawilis. We use the uh, uh, tool, the as is, we call it as is, is the aquatic invasiveness uh, screening tool, toolkit to determine if these introduced species are really invasive. So we have to, to find uh, measures kung paano natin ito ma-eradicate ang itong mga invasive species na to at kung paano pa natin makoconserve yung ating mga native species na natitira pa sa ating mga lakes. So ang BASIL stands for Balik Sigla sa Ilog at Lawa Program. This is the national program, uh, banner program of the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources uh, which uh, rehabilitates and restores the uh, inland bodies of water. Yung uh, assessment tool na binabanggit natin dito, yung uh, Aquatic Species Invasive uh, Screening Kit no, na pinisent ni Doc Maris. So ngayon, ang gagawin po ng BIFAR is uh, to replicate this itong uh, paggamit ng assessment tool sa mga basil management areas sa iba't ibang region sa bansa natin. At hopefully, by, by early this year, makapagkaroon tayo ng isang technical report sa mga risk assessment areas na kinondak ng mga basil regional focal persons at uh, mapublish ito by second or first semester of this next year. So, kanina nagpresent po tayo about uh, tilapia lake virus or TILV. Ito yung emerging virus sa uh, ating mga uh, tilapias. And uh, the mortality, mortality rate is around uh, 70 to 90 percent. And it's really a threat to, you know, til our tilapia Philippine industry. So, sa ngayon, yung study natin is yung early detection ng ating uh, uh, tilapia leak virus or TILV and then uh, mapangunahan din natin ang uh, magiging mangyari kasi yung impact ng virus talagang mauubos yung ating mga fry o fingerlings dahil sa uh, characteristic ng TILV. Uh, earlier, uh, nagpresent tayo ng Technology Business Incubation Project of NFRDI where in, uh, meron tayong nine mature technologies na ipina-adapt dun sa mga farmers or yung mga beneficiaries natin para mas maging uh, scientific yung kanilang approach sa kanilang mga, sa, mga projects for aquaculture and post harvest. For example, yun sa, uh, dun sa ating uh, oyster. Uh, we we uh, selected yung mga farmers sa oyster, then uh, tinuro natin sila mga makabagong teknolohiya sa pag-aalaga ng talaba. And, and dun sa ako na yun, uh, dahil nga bago siya, marami din gumaya, madami din nag, uh, nagtanong, nag-inquire. And na nung, na nung lalo na nagkaroon ng result na nakita nila na maganda po yung harvest nila. Part of the 10th Saikon were the spotlight presentations of five finalists who bested 36 entries from 18 universities nationwide. The Spotlight presentation featured oral presentations of thesis or dissertations from recipients of the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources Fisheries Scholarship Program. The study on the use of squid pen-derived cheetosun as an antimicrobial agent by L. John Mendiola of the Visayas State University, Tolosa, bagged first place. One of the major problems in the aquaculture industry, particularly in the shrimp farming industry, is the outbreak of bacterial infections, specifically vibrionic infections. The vibrionic infections have caused massive larval and juvenile mortalities in various, in various shrimp farming industry. These bacteria that were formerly susceptible to conventional antibiotics are now developing resistance. Thus, my study aims to convert the squid pen, which we know is a, is a waste 
convert it into, into a potential antimicrobial agent that could combat the vibrionic infections. I would like to thank all our partners, the national government agencies, including our partners from the international, the WCPFC, uh, DA uh, BPAR, the DA BAR, uh, DOST PICAR, local government units, state colleges and universities, including the private sectors, and all of you who participated in this event. Uh, we believe that uh, this event would only would uh, uh, be a blessing to everybody so that we can attain our goal of achieving uh, food security and uh, fisheries uh, development of the industry.